Self-sovereign identity begins with the basic premise that you should control your own identity in regards to your relationships, your interactions with other people, uh, organizations, and things. Thus, self-sovereign identity gives individuals a voice in these uh, discussions as we renegotiate what it means to be human in a digital world. So this track is about using or utilizing existing technologies, building on top of that, creating something uh, that's interoperable, that's trustworthy, that's transparent, and actually can also be used in all the other tracks. We've lost a, a part of self-control when it comes to the public space, and that because the public space has expanded itself um, in many forms to the internet. And on the internet, we do not have the human boundaries or let's say uh, the, the rules and regulation which normally guide transactions or interactions we do in society. What should be the responsibility of state or maybe even international governments when it comes to self-sovereign identities? And then we have Facebook wanting to negotiate their sovereignty in a multinational way against what Google is doing. Uh, so the world is renegotiating what sovereignty means. And uh, if, we're, if we're not careful, we'll just be, you know, slaves to this mechanism of everybody else's sovereignty, where they all claim us. So we would like to create a solution that has aspects on human experience, uh, business process, legal aspects, and technology. How can we uh, stimulate adoption? of the solution that are already there. There are a lot of solutions, so we're not asking to build a new self-sovereign identity, but enabling the other teams. Everybody needs a digital identity solution. But the problem is not to be solved lightly. You can't solve it alone. You need an ecosystem to solve it. And the ecosystem needs to have representatives from all the parties involved to, to, together to make that change. We really believe in the fact that we all have to develop this together with the public side, the private side, and also the knowledge institutes. We don't want to go to a, a blockchain for control approach or the blockchain for money uh, approach. We're really uh, working together.